The NBA has been missing out on the insanity for a while at this point, but it sounds like Jeremy is doing just fine in China. The former Knicks man has been playing in the CBA and the G League since 2019, and he's not stopping anytime soon. Get this: he just announced that he's leaving the Beijing Ducks to sign with the Guangzhou Lung Lions. It's pretty big news, so here's what you need to know. First off, the move is a bit of a surprise. We know Lin's staying in China for the time being, but most fans were expecting him to move to Taiwan this year. He's the son of Taiwanese immigrants and a ton of basketball. Basketball clubs in the country were hoping to get him this year. Unfortunately for them, he's not leaving the Chinese Basketball Association anytime soon. General managers from across Taiwan's P League were interested in signing him, and we can see why. Lin has an awesome track record on the court. He's played a total of 480 regular NBA games, averaging 11.6 and 4.3 assists per game across his career. That's nothing to sneeze at. And honestly, his 2011-2012 run with the Knicks was a phenomenon that basketball fans remember to this day. The man's obviously an Asian American icon, and he ended his NBA journey on a high note by winning the 2019 title with the Toronto Raptors. That said, it feels like he might be nearing the end of his career. Let's look at his stint in the CBA. Lin joined the Beijing Ducks after becoming a free agent in 2019, and there's a reason the NBA basically gave up on him. He barely played for the Raptors during the playoffs, and commentators were saying that he just doesn't have the mobility of a point guard anymore. That's why Lin had something to prove with his entry into the Chinese Basketball Association, and he's definitely made his mark. He's already. Already an all-star in the CBA and was a contender for their Defensive Player of the Year award. That's before things took a turn for the worse, though. Fans will know that the COVID-19 pandemic has been a pretty tough period for Jeremy's career. It disrupted his first season with the Ducks just as he was getting into form. But the major setback came when he contracted the virus in 2021. Honestly, it was pretty heartbreaking news since he'd just come back from a stint in the G League to rejoin the Ducks. And from what we've heard, his bout with COVID has been pretty debilitating. What's more, it felt like it might have put an end to his career. Lin. Had to spend three whole months in isolation last season and was absent from the court for ten full months. During that period, he apparently lost a ton of weight, with reports suggesting that he lost as much as twenty pounds. He said that he had breathing issues when he finally got back onto the court, and that it was a struggle to get back into form. The thirty-four-year-old has had a rough couple of years, and fans were worried he was going to leave the game altogether. Thankfully, it looks like that won't be the case. Lin took to Instagram and Weibo to make the announcement. His Insta post gave fans their first look at Jeremy in the Guangzhou Lung Lions kit. And And、it's got them hyped. He'll be playing as their number seven, and it sounds like he's pretty excited about the opportunity. His caption mentions how he's grateful to be able to continue his journey in Guangzhou, and get this, he says it makes him feel like he's finally able to live out his basketball dreams. Honestly, it's pretty inspiring to see him bounce back like this. That's not to mention his other post. The Instagram post was just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to his feelings about the move. The player made a way lengthier post on the Chinese social media website Weibo, and it gave everyone a way deeper insight into his thoughts about leaving the Ducks. The post starts off with Lin reflecting on the 13 years he spent playing basketball, and he mentions how he doesn't take anything for granted. His approach has always been focused on delivering for his team and his supporters, and he's taking that energy into the next CBA season. He also reflected on the effect that the pandemic has had on him, saying that the mental and physical challenges have been pretty difficult to overcome. Lin says he's disappointed he wasn't able to perform for the Ducks last season, and that he's really grateful for how well he was treated in Beijing. The player cherishes his time with the club, and he's looking forward to another year in the CBA. He capped things off with a tribute to his fans, and it sounds like he's feeling pretty emotional about the comeback. Now we don't know about you, but his response feels pretty valid to us. Let's look at what the Lions have to say about his arrival. The 2022-23 season will be the first time Jeremy's played for a CBA team outside of Beijing since 2011. That's when he was playing for the Dongguan Leopards, and this latest move is obviously pretty notable for that reason. The Lions obviously know that, and they're already hyping up the player's arrival. Honestly, that feels like the right approach to take with this signing because. The team is in its growing stages right now. Bringing in a big name like Lin will definitely help them grow their profile in the league. Their one statement about the signing so far has highlighted Lin's celebrated history. It goes over how he's been playing the game for more than a decade at this point, as well as how valuable his experience will be to the Lions. The team says Jeremy's desire to win hasn't changed one bit, and we believe them. It might take a while to adapt to the club system, but we can't wait to see how he plays once he finds his footing. The franchise is obviously pretty confident about his transfer, so let's hope he doesn't have any trouble joining the squad. Luckily for Lin, he's going to have some backup. He'll be teaming up with the team's Taiwanese guard Ray Chen, and he's just one of the Lions' high-profile recruits. They've also signed former NBA champion Jordan Bell for the next season. It'll definitely be interesting to see how they factor both veterans into their play style. The side reached the playoffs last season, and that was the best run they've ever had in the CBA. They want to kick off next year with a bang, and we have a feeling they're on the right track. Moving on, let's look at some other news from the world of basketball. First up, a basketball coach from Louisiana just broke some major. 
major records. An instructor named Joshua Walker just made headlines with an awesome display of basketball skills. The man just broke not one, not three, but five records in one day, and he's earned some massive street cred in the process. The most impressive record Walker broke was the one for the longest basketball shot ever made. The coach made the shot while standing 113 feet and 6 inches away from the hoop, which is an insane amount of distance if you ask us. He also made the farthest behind the back, hook bounce, and backward shots ever made. And remember, this was all in a day's work for him. He actually took one of the titles away from Harlem Globetrotter Rock Wham Middleton, so we can confirm he's pretty legit. Next up, the Basketball Hall of Fame is about to induct some new faces. The organizing committees released a list of 13 new inductees, and we're pretty excited for them. This is one of the biggest honors in American basketball, and the folks being enshrined definitely deserve the praise. The lineup includes legendary coaches like George Carl, referees like Hugh Evans, and longtime NBA stars like Tim Hardaway. Female legends like Swin Cash and Lindsey Whalen are also getting the call for induction. Overall, it's a pretty broad list of basketball professionals, and we're really happy for the 13 people who got selected. They're basically a part of the sports history at this point, and that's got to be pretty exciting. Lastly, the NBA is working on a new NFT project. They're partnering with Sarar, a French fantasy game developer, and the collaboration sounds pretty sweet. It's going to be a game that's built around non-fungible tokens, and we're really looking forward to what the team comes up with. The deal will allow Sarar to put players and teams from the NBA as they are into the game, and that sounds pretty epic. Players will be able to build teams of players represented by NFT cards and take part in different challenges. The NBA has signed a multi-year deal with Sarar, so we can expect this game to become a pretty big deal down the line. This is just another one of the league's attempts to get into blockchain tech, and it sounds like their overall strategy is working pretty well. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think of Jeremy Lin's latest transfer? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.